I'm here at Dick Dolesk Soccer Stadium, where two of West Virginia's elite athletic programs ply their trade on this pitch right here. Two recent alumni, Paolo Menez Alberta and Isabella Sibley, were just here months ago playing for their respective teams. Now they're back home in Europe looking to ply their trade in the professional game. It has always been a, like a big goal for me. Um, it was one of those things that you dream of as a child, as to be a professional athlete, let alone a professional soccer player. I was not sure that I, that I was going to be able to, to make it because, you know, for the division in Spain, the level is pretty high. Like all my teammates, they've all been in professional academies like Barcelona, Espanol, Madrid, uh, Mallorca, Deportivo, like all these huge uh, Spanish teams that have academies, they've all played there. Uh, and I was like, do I really have the level? And I started playing and I was like, oh yeah, I do have the level. Not only does this duo get to play professionally, but they are both within close proximity to home. And with that comes special advantages. I play a, a game on Sunday and I have a huge amount of my family coming and supporting me, which is shocking because I haven't had that in four, four years now. So for me to be able to be so close um, with my family and friends of who I grew up with, has definitely put a huge smile on my face. It's it's perfect for me. It was it was a, one of the best things about it is that it's like really ten minutes away from my house, which is fantastic. We we start training at nine thirty, and I can you know wake up at eight forty five, and I'm gonna still make it because it's it's super super close. My whole life I've been playing in the city of Tarrasa, which is like twenty minutes away from Barcelona. Uh, so I kind of like I'm pretty well connected with the city. I would say. Alberta is signed for Terrassa FC, a club in the fourth tier of the Spanish pyramid, while Sibley has opted for Crystal Palace, who reside in the second tier of the women's pyramid in England. Despite the steps they have taken in their careers, they have not forgotten about the help from WVU coaching along the way. Sat down with Izzo, I remember, I said, listen, Izzo, like, I, this is my ambition, like, I want to go professional. So every time I had a meeting with her, that was always in talks. It's like, okay, like, if you want to be a pro, this is what you're going to have to do to be a pro. All three of the coaching staff, Izzo, Stoyer and Marissa, have been three important impacts of this process, like I said, of this new chapter in my life. Shrads is a, is a fantastic coach. He's, I've told him, and, and when I signed for, for the team, uh, I, I sent him a message and I was like, hey, I think that this is, you know, big in, in big part because of you and, and the boys, because... They've definitely, like, it was not only Shrads, it was the whole team. They, they definitely made me the player I am today. No matter how far Sibley and Alberta stray from Morgantown, they continue to make us Mountaineers proud. For Mountaineer Playbook, I'm Liam Bellin.